right, we have the Wimberley here. This is a home that we're gonna go in and tour. Lots of windows in, in the Wimberley. This is at Wayne Fire Homes in Byron, Georgia. It's a live oak home. And this is the Wimberley. So let's go in and see what the Wimberley looks like. The door's already open for me. Awesome. Oh, they're still putting it together, but we'll take a look. See what she looks like. Very nice. Okay, so that's the door that I came in. Right there. Big windows in this home. Huge windows. Hope you can see just how big the space is. So that's the living room. This is probably going to be a quick tour depending on because this home has still got to be trimmed out, y'all. But I don't know when I'm coming back, so let's see what she looks like. So this is the living room. Not the biggest living room, but it's, it's nice, right? Like if, if it was me with this home because it has a family room, I'll show you that in a minute. Like this would be the, the place. You remember when you were growing up and you couldn't? Uh, sit, go in the living room. Your mama wouldn't let you in the living room because it was just for company. That's what this space would be. So you can make it cute. It opens up to this huge kitchen. Love this kitchen. There's lots of light in this house. I love the cabinets. That color. If you've seen other, any of my previous videos, you know I love the color of these cabinets. Love the lighting over the island. You have this huge island with butcher block. And, um, not butcher block, it, it looks like butcher block, um, and it doesn't have the sink. For all of my subscribers who doesn't care for the sink in the island, this would be perfect. You've got a huge, huge window over the kitchen, black appliances in here, lots of cabinet space. Really open, really open. Love it. Off the kitchen. You have a adequate laundry room. There's your back door, laundry room, and the washer and dryer goes here. And it does have a little more space behind the door. So you really could put a deep freezer over there. See that? Awesome. Love the cabinet color cabinets that are in the utility room. So this is the kitchen. Look at all the storage space you have under the island and the open space on the top. Very nice. I'll give you another. Again, this house isn't put together, y'all. So you got to look past it and see the beauty. Love the ceiling. And then this is the dining room. You got large windows in the dining room. Your light fixture so your table would sit there. Very, very nice. Let me go on this side, give you another look. Love this huge window. So you can see just how much space you have in the dining room. Awesome. Then you have your family room here. Here. You have a fireplace in the family room, brickwork, space for a huge TV, and then you have open shelving for decor, DVDs, albums. I'm telling on myself now. <laughs> Whatever you like over there. Very good. All the windows in here. This archway opens into the... So I like the fact that it just seems like this is another part of the house, right? It's not just open to the bedrooms. You have to go through this doorway and then the bedrooms are over here. So it looks like this is a three bedroom, two bath. You have guest bed bedroom number one right here. Guest bedroom number one. There's your closet. Again, this doesn't have wallpaper or anything. Um, 
they're still putting this house together. Awesome. And then you have guest bedroom number two right here. So much lighting light in this house. Love how the windows just bring the light in. There's your closet there. So that's guest bedroom number two. And then guest bathroom. Got a tub and shower combo, sink and toilet in there. Awesome. Love this family room. This is a huge space for a family room, bigger than the living room, which is fine because you will spend most of your time in here. And like I said, leave the living room for company. Awesome. So your master bedroom is off the living room over here. Awesome. I just can't get over how bright it is in here, you guys. So this is the master bedroom. Probably be better to look in from the master bath. So let's check out the master bath. You've got double sinks here. Love the cabinet cabinets. Love the cabinet color. The, the mirrors are trimmed in that color. The sinks are separated. Plenty of cabinet space for you and your partner. There's your garden tub with lots of windows over the tub. This one already has the blinds in here, so for privacy, which is nice of them to have because blinds don't necessarily have to come with these homes. That's extra. You've got your shower there. Love the huge rain shower, shower head that sits up high. You've got a bitch in your shower. Your toilet is there. And then I'm pretty sure this is the master closet. Yep. Nice size master closet. Awesome. So we'll pan this room again. Very nice. Again, that's your master closet. And then your master bedroom. Awesome. I like this house. Very nice. This kitchen is awesome. Really like the openness of this kitchen. I had to come back and take another look. I like that the island it's facing the dining room and the family room. I wanted you to see again just how huge this space is. So I'm standing in the kitchen looking at the stove, looking out past the dining room into the family room. If I have guests, I can see what's going on in the family room and the living room. And if the kids are in the back playing with their friends, I can hear what's going on. That's awesome. One thing that I would do or ask if it was an option is to remove those windows and make it patio doors. Just so I think that this space would be perfect for entertaining and it would be nice to have a patio door and a deck outside the dining room. So that's just a thought. Thanks so much for watching. Again, this is the Wimberly. All right, see you in the next video.